Hi, I'm Stuart. Hi, I'm Chris. And welcome to Sonet Television. I have in my hand here an M180 triple stack from Code 3. Mm -hmm. And this is a new product from them. It is. And you have it over at the workbench. I do. So I will keep mine here and let you safely walk across the studio to the workbench where Chris is going to show us the M180 triple stack. The Code 3 M180 triple stack. It's a multi-color light head in a roughly 5 by 3 footprint and designed for exterior mounting in a variety of positions on your service vehicle. Primary preference is going to be the front end affixed to the push bumper or side fenders. Now the brilliance of this light head is the multi-color format and the ability to tie this into your vehicle's siren and lighting controller or switch panel for controlling the colors as a multitude of two as a color sequence of just one, there's 69 flash patterns that you can go through and select from, synchronization so it can talk to the other M180 triple stacks, the M180 single size light heads, the chases, and other items that are listed in the product details. And on our product page, you get to select from a nice drop down, and the part number is going to finalize itself at the end with your color characters. So starting it off is the M180LMC. Now this light head, it's the brilliance of a 180 degree output in a triple stack size. So with this, very simple for mounting, two screw holes, one on each side is how this affixes down to its surface, and one center exit for the wiring pigtail. Now the color coded harness here, easy enough to operate, tying into operating the multicolors inside. Now, tying this into a switch in your siren and lighting controller, this is a look at the brilliance of the 180 degree output in a red blue. Now, the neat thing about this light head is beyond the warning that it offers, and you can see it's brilliant at that, it offers you illumination. So it brightens up things when your vehicle's arriving to the scene and when you're overriding to illuminate things around the vehicle for a safety enhancement. All you have to do is operate another switch on your controller, and that is going to operate the takedown mode. So you can see it's different diode sets operating within this light head. Now, independent control is a nice feature to have here. So here is just the illumination through those diodes. And this is going to be a focused output, so more of a spot beam. Now, this doesn't have any downcasting light, so keep that in mind when it comes to this light head and what its versatility is designed to do for you. Now, I've mentioned that it's multicolor, and you can operate that color independently if you choose to do so. So switching back over to an example of flashing, and we'll go through the multicolors here, and grounding is how the flash pattern is going to change utilizing the blue trigger wire. The synchronization, that is a combination of yellow trigger wires and combining those amongst the light heads. Go through, go through a few options here now. So something that you can notice with this light is it's very user friendly in how the patterns have been designed to work for you. So you have solid sequencing patterns and the phasing is something that you'll pay attention to. So you notice patterns are looking the same here when I'm tapping the blue to ground. Well, that is setting the sequence between phase one and phase two. So that's telling your light heads how they're going to alternate with one another or flash together for an alternating and simultaneous. So here's a nice way to look at this and how it can be split up for you. So thinking about this and side mounting it on the vehicle, kind of a neat way to separate it, grabbing attention around the side profile and around the front. Primarily front facing or rear facing, maybe the solid flashing is going to be a better option for you. So an example there. Now, talking over to the other trigger wire here, so we have a trigger wire in red, that is mode one, and a trigger wire in white, and that's mode two. So that's how you can set this up differently. So here, flashing the red only. Again, same thing with the flash patterns by taking the blue, momentarily tapping it to ground, that lets you go through and make adjustments. Now the takedown is just that, steady burn only. There's no flashing option built into that. 
So a neat thing in thinking about this light head and how it can realistically work for your vehicle and if you are someone who needs a compliance when it comes to disengaging a color. So multicolor in a red white, perfect for fire and rescue and when this is arriving on scene, then when your vehicle arrives on, all you have to do, adjust the other trigger wire and then that will disengage the white flash, kicking it over to just red. So again, setting this up, taking advantage of the trigger wires really helps with a full enhancement of this product and its simplicity in further reaching out of your vehicle. Here we have Code 3's M180 triple stack nicely mocked up onto our Tacoma front bumper. And as you can see here in the red and blue multicolor format, it has a very ferocious output stretching across in 180 degrees. So you're getting the dedicated output in the diodes here, forward firing, and the off axis here through the side modules. All that's then left to do is one more button to tie it into white for the alley mode. So again, Code 3 and the M180 triple stack light head that we offer you here on SirenNet. Bright light, Chris. No question about that. Most Excellent. definitely. So this particular light can be used in a variety of different types of vehicles, obviously. So I guess in one respect, the fire service, which is what comes to mind right mm -hmm. out the gate. But you could use it in law enforcement. You could use it in public works, provided you have the area space-wise to fit this light. I'm thinking law enforcement push bumpers okay. right on the side. That way you got great 180 degree coverage right. front and intersection clearing. And then talk about the ultimate alley light as far as front end illumination Left and goes. right side on the first, yeah. yeah. But then thinking about, oh, Public Works, mm -hmm. great big old Vactor truck, for example, mm -hmm. that takes care of all your amber flashing. Right. And then you have illumination wherever you need to. So a couple switches, you can do the left, the right, the front, the rear. Right. I mean, really just, great product all around to double up what you need. Well, there you have it, an all-rounder, as they say in cricket. <laughs> and this is, you know much about cricket, do you? A little bit. A little bit about cricket? You do, good. Don't, please don't question me on it, because it's very, LBW, very LBW, leg before wicket. Right, okay, just a quick test. Chris knows lots of stuff, but he knows his lights, that's for sure. So from Code 3, it's the M180, and it's available here on SirenNet. Thanks for showing us that, Chris. Well, thank you for watching. We'll see you next time. Have a great day.